thanks for joining me on my Pokemon Soul Silver journey. I'll travel through the Johto region in this legendary adventure. Thanks for reminiscing my childhood with me and enjoy the video. It seems like I kind of did things a little bit out of order here because the guide said, and I, I hate that I keep referring to this guide, but it's very helpful. It said that I should have went to Seanwood City first, then gone to the Lake of Rage, got Gyarados, and then come here. So, got to go into here, and there's a, a, you know, this souvenir shop was very suspicious before, and wow, that's aggressive. Hyper Beam, okay. Just as I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. Yeah, cool, all right. Uh, we had heard about that before. So, yeah, the stairs are right here. What? We should split up to check this place out. I'll go first. Huh? Okay. Uh, all right. Cool. So we're going to be investigating uh, whatever this area is. It's the Team Rocket headquarters. My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien, number one internet superstar extraordinaire. Uh, that's a, a Persian statue right there. That's going to alert someone there. Intruder alert. Oh, no. Well, I guess we'll battle this person here and their Pokemon. Yeah. And this is probably going to be the entirety of the episode here. So, a strap. Wow. Wow. A level 31. Drowsy. You kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? Why did that miss the first time? I didn't actually see why, but whatever. Uh, that should all be one hit KOs here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is going to be. Okay. Something. And we're not even going to gain that much XP out of it either. So, cool. Uh, I guess I'm going to switch over to Egot because he's still technically the lowest level out of uh, the three of them here. And gain what little XP we can out of this entire hideout here. I mean, the leader is probably going to be a bit more, but. And obviously, the XP share was uh, de equipped because of. Okay, one after another then. Okay. Uh, um, because of the King's Rock. So, you know, that makes sense now why they're all low level. Because it's going to be one after another. So, all right. Uh, we're going to try to, I guess, avoid those, uh, those statues if we can here. Um, it seems like they are in groups of, like, two or three. So, oh, no, those are, okay. So the way it works is there are guards and there's also individuals standing around here so I think it's two guards every single time you encounter one of those Persian statues so provided that the guards are this weak there's really no point in challenging them we want to challenge trainers that are if anything a bit bulkier with their Pokemon in general so and here you're just kind of wasting time it's not really a challenge it's all one hit KOs because if you can go and capture that Gyarados you can pretty much do whatever you want to uh, these Pokemon here. You can walk around them and whatnot too. So I'm going to disable the auto run and that way we can uh, avoid that stuff and I don't get too careless. So there we go. So like, yeah, you could, you could probably walk around this. No, you couldn't actually. Huh? Okay. Forced to walk through there. Interesting. Okay. So there's another Persian statue there. I don't feel, I just don't feel like doing it. You know what I mean? I just don't, I just don't feel like doing it. So can we navigate? I'm not going to look up a guide on how to navigate the area here but can we navigate this without you know ticking off all these guards here i doubt it i honestly do is there anything worthwhile going this way there is something some way down there i mean all right let me swap first we'll swap to a okay so they are at the same level here so i'll give uh padino the uh xp share just to have it you know and we're not gonna use toledo at all it seems like which is fine. So, I guess another Persian statue here. Great. Cool. You know what I'm going to do? Unless these battles are interesting here. You know, they're not interesting. I'm looking at the guide here. These are all super low-level Pokemon. I'm just going to skip all through this because it's just going to be a waste of time for you. And it's already a waste of time for me. So, I'll skip ahead till something interesting happens after these battles. Slowking looks so weird from the side when he's running because it looks like just a giant big eye. <laughs> uh, so what I did was I cleared out all the um, everything here, all the scientists and whatnot, at least that I had seen so far. I did not collect any of the items just in case I, uh, well, I got to edit when I go for those trainers out. 
but I didn't collect any of the items or anything that I found because, hey, why would I do that? I want to do that all on camera and show you exactly what uh, is happening. So uh, I'll go around here, and I found a guard spec. I, I, there was a bunch of stuff around, so I don't know. Um, I, maybe we'll go on to this side here. And I don't know if we can actually cross this area down here, if that's actually something we can do. No, we can't. Okay, cool. That is a Geodude. Interesting. Okay. That's weird. Uh, I'm going to surf and hopefully clean sweep a lot of these Geodude here. Now, is it going to force us to go back or can we just... Is it every step there's going to be a Geodude? Because I'd rather just do... Oh, we grew to 29. That's good. I'd rather just do that and save a little time, you know? Oh, it's all different Pokemon. Interesting. And we did go one step without running into a Pokemon. So there must be some steps here that don't have any Pokemon on them. And you can probably find your way through it all. But rather than do that, I'd rather just go through the whole thing. And, uh, you know, challenge the Pokemon all throughout the live long day here. So... Whatever, that's fine. So it's probably going to be two more Pokemon here that we got to challenge. And, you know, sharing that EXP ever so slightly still, so that's good. Yeah, see, it's like every two steps. Or every step, rather. Whatever. Every step you take, every move you make, there's a coughing here, there's a Machop here, they'll be watching you. That is a very creepy song out of context. I'll watch you every step you take. And every move you make, I'll be watching you. That's just a very creepy, creepy means of writing a song. Why would you ever think... Why would you write that in a song, A and B? Why would you say that to anyone? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, that. Forgot those are a thing. I'll edit these out. So I'm not going to challenge the other statue that is down here because it was just another means of getting to where we were before. You could either go all the way around that way or just go that way there through all the Pokemon, the wild Pokemon in there. So that's what I decided to do instead. And I guess I went the air quote wrong way. Oh, cool. Nice. Heal up there. Um, because I wanted to explore every area. So I'm going to go back actually and try that teleporter thing, that yellow dot that was back there on the ground. Uh, that thing is a teleporter. So I don't know where it'll take me, but yeah. Oh, to the front. Oh, it's an easy means of getting out of here. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, uh, what if I navigate through here again? Yeah, there we go. No, uh, no issues there. Cool. So it seems like this Team Rocket base, compared to other ones, is fairly easy to get through. Not many uh, crevices and all sorts of crazy stuff around here, so that's good. I'm assuming I need a key to get inside of here. The radio transmitter. Uh, the door checks the voice of a person saying the password before it opens. Okay. Well... With that being said, I am not going to challenge that trainer there. Uh, I'm going to fast forward through this trainer because he's probably going to have a ton of weak Pokemon, so whatever. I thought he'd have a thousand Pokemon, but he didn't. Oops. He only had one Golbat. Hey there. You're an all-star. Where uh, is that password? What's the uh, transmitter? Yep. Okay. Name of the person is Petrol, the Team Rocket Executive. Wow. Go figure. Uh, the room is also protected with a password. We need the password for the leader's office first. Well, cool. Great. Oh, I'll take this. That's a full heal, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, that's a staircase to heaven. Oh, there's more stuff. Cool. TM49 Snatch can snatch up all the, uh, the health points off of a Pokemon that way. Nice. All right. Oh, so not only going the long way did we get more items, but we also avoided a battle. Not that one, though. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You're challenging me to a battle? You're nuts, but you have guts. I like that. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a password for the boss's room. Radicate Tail. Cool. So at least I know a password. Sweet. I don't know if that was a story required thing that we needed to face off against that grunt, but okay. I don't know if you need to face off against all the grunts in any means to like find all the passwords, but... I'll use that password there to maybe find, uh, you know, where exactly to go. These are not trainers, maybe. I don't know. Um, 
I don't want to face off against people if I don't have to. I may have to, though. So, why don't I... Um... Hmm. I'm gonna go try to find... Well, the door back here. Well, what's up here? I don't even know what's up here. There is... Stuff. Oh! There is electrode being used for electricity. I see. Okay. That's inhumane. Um... Cool. There's more trainers this way. Let me go find that door back there, see if that works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna face off against more of these grunts and just defeat them. That way it's easier for us. And yeah, they're all very simple battles anyway, so... Uh, we skipped... Yeah, we already did that. Raticate Tail here? No. We need the voice of the person. Alright, so I'll just face off against more enemies and level up and all that. You? <laughs> <laughs> so you're messing with them again? Oh, this this guy is just rotten. He's not even like a cool rival. He's just rotten. So I guess, uh... Oh, he's not gonna challenge me. Alright. Well, I'll get this item here. And I really should go and heal. So, I'll show you the two Team Rocket Grunts you need the passwords from. Those are the only two you need to battle. And even if you know the passwords, it doesn't matter. You need to actually battle them to get the passwords, or at least I'm assuming. Uh, I don't know if you can actually type something in, but I'll, uh, I'll show you which two they are. So, right over there, that pink one with the pink hair right there, you can just walk up to him and approach him. And this one right here, those are the only two you need to actually fight in order to uh, get the passwords, unless you can just type them in, and then that'll be as easy as that. But... Let me see if I can uh, do that. All right. The door is closed. Brian entered the two passwords. There you go. So you, it doesn't matter whether you actually know them in real life or not. You cannot enter them in manually, you know, with a secret code and do it that way. So you got to battle those two and you're good. So I feel bad that most of this episode has been actually me not showing anything. It's just battles. But hey, we're going to challenge this boss right here right now. Hey, buddy. You, muhaha, I've been waiting for you, so you're Brian. You don't know who I am? It's me, Giovanni. You're not Giovanni, are you? I don't sound anything like Giovanni. I don't even look like Giovanni. How come I work so hard to mimic him? Oh, geez. Well, Petriel is a Team Rocket executive who is not Giovanni, because Giovanni was a lot more, um, you know, intimidating than this guy. Hail Giovanni is the password, and this guy looks really old. Looks a little bit too old to be, uh trying to challenge kids to Pokemon battles here. So, uh, with this battle here, uh, Surf should be enough to just overpower the Zubat. It's not incredibly effective one way or another, but, you know, there you go. Just one shot deal there. It's fine. Nothing to worry about here. Uh, there's been other Pokemon like that that have been level 22. You just wipe all through them. Now, Raticate has a super effective move against... Yeah, Crunch, I think, is super effective. Uh, yeah, against Egot here. But even then, it's not too bad. So, again, Surf's power is probably just going to overpower Eradicate regardless. Not a one-hit KO, but just about. So, and even taking two Crunches right there. It brings us down to a little less than... Actually, a lot less than half, because that's a critical. But, you know, it's not going to be too big of a deal here. Unless the final Pokemon is going to be that much uh, worse off. I don't know. But... Even then, the experience isn't too good. Coughing, sh it shouldn't be too bad. It should be a one-hit shot. It's level 22. Third and final Pokemon here. Hey, you're good. No, I just am a higher level than you. It's not that difficult of an idea here. So, is it a one-shot KO? Yes, it is. There you go. So, now we're at that point where we're just clean sweeping through a lot of it. But hey, that's fine. I couldn't do a thing. Giovanni, please forgive me. Please forget. What about that Murkrow? You're not going to use Murkrow? All right. Losing to you won't change the fact that you're unable to get in the radio transmitter room. You may, you need my voice to unlock it. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. Bye. What about you? Hail Giovanni. Oh, Murkrow is mimicking the voice of Petriel. You may be able to what? All right. Can I just, uh, like follow it? That'd be pretty cool. Let's see uh, if I can manage to uh, unlock the door that way. The password is Hail Giovanni. Jeez, I didn't know Murkrow act in the in a parrot 
sort of sense that way. Interesting. Okay. And luckily, since we've encountered all the trainers, we don't have to waste any time that way. All right. Very convenient how that Murkrow knows the... Well, actually, crows are known to mimic words uh, similar to humans in that way. So, uh, kind of like parakeets, too. So, and conveniently enough, right by the door. Mimicking the voice of Petriel. There you go. It unlocked the door. That's uh, that's some good technology you got there, man. Anyways, uh, hold it right there. Uh-oh. Here's another one. We can't let a brat like you do as you please forever. It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride. Literally, the pride has already been hurt because your corporation was taken down by someone similar to my age in the first place. A two-on-two -two battle is unfair. Well, no, no that's fair now. A one-on-two -two battle is unfair. So it's going to be me and Giovanni against a Team Rocket Grunt and Ariana. With no relation to Ariana Grande whatsoever. All right. Executive Ariana versus the Team Rocket Grunt. Uh, let's see. Who has the one Pokemon? Oh, wow. The Dragonite's level 40. That's a lot. Okay, cool. Great. I'm going to heal up first things first. I'm going to take a big L right here. Heal by 60. I should have switched to Toledo, but whatever. Not that Eggot can't hold his own weight now, but, you know, be in a bit better position here to wipe these guys out as quick as I can. That's a uh, fly right there, so that's good. Actually, not good for me because that's super effective. Ouch. And probably another, yep. Ooh, headbutt missed. Cool. All right, uh, I'm going to do that to mm, surf on uh, everyone. No, okay, I thought maybe I would be able to go first and outspeed the Dragonite. That way, I wouldn't be actually affecting him. And actually, this works out not well at all because it's going to affect Dragonite. And I wanted it to affect both of them, like both of the... Oh, actually, that did nothing great. I wanted it to affect both of the enemy Pokemon, which it did, or one at least. Both were done in one shot, regardless. So, it also looks like you have no real chance of losing this battle it seems like anyways because the Dragonite being level 40 can really hold its own weight that way so I'm gonna assume you're gonna fly up again yeah you are nice cool and hopefully clean sweep both of them in one shot there you go avoiding that attack right there fantastic uh, teamwork that wasn't really planned out that way so that Grimer's done though that's good cool now that gloom can do some serious damage because I'm a water type. Yep, that's gonna that's really gonna hurt. That's gonna sting like the Fourth of July. Yep, there it goes. Ooh, not quite dead yet though. That's good. Uh, how about a little bit of a uh, headbutt to gloom? Oh, Dragonite's attack missed. Ouch. That's not good. Well, that's gonna affect me for sure. Oh, no, you're going for Dragonite. It seems like. All right, cool. Sure. I'll, uh, oh, never mind, it's me. Okay, hoops. <laughs> I thought it might not have been, but it was. Yay. All right, Panino, let's go. Hop into action. Same level as uh, Croconaw. Nice. Or same level as for Alligator. And does Dragonite not know any other move? Because you use Hyper Beam on, like, this one dude back at the souvenir shop. So what's the deal with that, you know? Why not, uh, you know, bring that out here? That'd be uh, pretty cool, but... Alright, never mind. Doesn't matter. There's another one down. And uh, is that it? That might be it. Because, uh, ooh, 705 XP, and there was no target there. Oh, one left. Murkrow. Shout out to Murkrow. Fr Murkrow from uh, Generation 1. No, Generation 2. Generation 4. Really? It missed? Jeez. Uh, generation 4 is Haunchcrow the Evolution. That's what it is. And I thought it might not have been effective for some reason, but yeah, it is. Oh, it's not very effective. Okay. I knew it had some impact of effectiveness one way or another. All right. Now Dragonite's using a variety of moves. I see. Okay. And that's going to do it. Wow. Yeah, you're. if you lose that battle, that's your fault. That was very easy to pull off there. You two are strong. If you were Team Rocket worthy, or Team Rocket, you would be worthy of the... Uh, highest of high positions here but oh well enjoy yourself while you can alrighty I just I saw how well you were doing so I just hung back yeah okay now all there is left to do is turn off that odd radio signal let's do it 
Let's see what the, uh, what, what, what we got to do here. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Oh, that's where the vault orb were. Okay, this machine is causing all the problems. I don't see an off switch. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's no fault of electrode. It just makes me feel sad. Let's split the job. All right, cool. So we got to make all three of these electrode faint. Okay, so I'm going to revive our, uh, our lovely Pokemon here just in case. Well, I, I do want to still do the EXP share, and I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center. We should be able to one-shot all these guys here. It's just a, a scripted battle sort of a deal here. Uh, I think we could capture them if, if we wanted to. Uh, I don't know if I want to use an, like an electric type like that. I'm still looking for Mary. Can't find it anywhere. But all right. Uh, go for headbutt. Just Oh, okay. That's a thing. Just going to headbutt this giant metal ball here and hopefully that'll work it won't okay great surf how about that maybe uh surf is going to have an effectiveness of nothing oh actually yeah okay cool but well, we ran out of power points for it so we can't use it anyways great but hey there's a level up so that's good i could use the uh, power points up on egg Gots here but that won't revive its power points or actually we have a ether, actually. Oh, wow, look at that. Cool, I will use that right now just because I'm lazy. I'm gonna use that on Surf. Cool. Now those PowerPoint restores there, you cannot get those at the store. Those are the only, one of the only items you cannot buy that's actually very useful. Because otherwise, if you could buy all those, you would almost never go to a Pokemon Center if you really wanted to. Because you could just buy Hyper Potions, Revives, and those PowerPoint things all day. And, you know, it would cost you a lot of money. It wouldn't be free, but you could totally do it if you wanted to. So, I, I guess that's the method behind that there. And Light Screen is going to do anything. Special Defense, sure. You know what? But that's not a special move. It's a... It's just, you're gone. Done. Cool. So, yeah, capture him if you want to. But, I'm not. And uh, one last one remains. No idea if they have a chance to be shiny or anything like that, but hey, that's fine too. Uh, electrode appeared. Wow, a wild electrode appeared. Go figure for that one, right? All right, surf it up. Surf's up, bruh. Let's go. One shot it. Just, just make it happen. One shot, even though it shouldn't. And no, it doesn't. Great, awesome. All right, I'll just use surf again. He's probably after this. We'll get out of this hideout and never come back, it seems like. Because why would we Why would we come back here? You know, we don't got to bother with that. And I don't know how I feel. This is black cherry. I thought this was grape. This is black cherry Zevia. I thought it was grape because uh, it looks purple. It's like a... No, that's definitely purple. That's not maroon. That's purple. It's all right. It's kind of gross. Usually black cherry anything tastes like cough syrup. Not great. Lick should be back to normal. You're the best. Let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon. You should take that. Uh, th this thing. Oh, HMO5. That is Rock Smash. That's the final one that we need. That's Whirlpool. Not the final one that we need. <laughs> oh, great. All right, cool. The journey to becoming the Pokemon champion is difficult and long. You got to keep going, though. Uh, if you were to give up that easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Cool. So we'll get out of here. And Whirlpool will come in handy for, I guess, going to specific areas. Because we had seen before, there were those Whirlpool things uh, in the game. So, uh, I don't know where it's going to lead us to exactly. But they were back in those um, those island areas. So, we'll check that out. It's officially nighttime in here. And I think to end off the episode here, we're going to go and face off against the gym. Because... Uh, a lot of that I had to edit out, and it says I've been recording for 50 minutes, but clearly there isn't 50 minutes worth of stuff here. So, yeah, I'm not going to cheat you guys and girls out that way. We'll uh, restore everyone to full health, and we'll be on our way to the gym. Is this the final gym? I can't tell. Let me save here real quick. Uh, no. Okay, not even close. So, after this gym here, it'll be six badges acquired in nine hours almost. So, that's fine. Uh, that Pokedex number is pretty pathetic, though. That's that's pretty bad. But I'm not going for a Pokedex completion in any way, shape, and form. It's just a thing there. So, okay. So these puzzles can be very obnoxious. Uh, you basically have to slide together the ice blocks and move across those areas uh, a certain way. I hate these 
types of puzzles. I really do. But, hey, they're a thing. You have to face off against at least one of these trainers here. I'm going to face off against both. I'm assuming this is an ice-themed gym. Now, if we had a fire-type Pokemon, we would zoobity zoo all the way through this whole gym. But, unfortunately, we don't. That's an ice-type Pokemon for sure. Uh, Surf should do... Uh, this is going to be a tough gym, maybe. Um, let's see how much... Is that a rock ice Pokemon? It might be, actually. So, in this case, it might be super effective because of the rock aspect of it. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Gotcha. See, some things I remember through the years, okay? I know Mamoswine is a rock and ice type, okay? I, I, every once in a while, I remember little gems, okay? Little, little things here. And really? Padino's at 32? Wow, alright. I'll just keep battling then. So... It seems like we gotta put the EXP share back onto or onto Toledo for the first time, so that's interesting. But oh well, yeah, that's not doing much of anything there. The accuracy falling though, that's not great. But not that it matters now, because that should be a one-hit shot there. Is a super effectiveness. Boom, there you go. Cool. So I'm assuming uh so they won't have a Mammo Swine at the end for the uh, gym leader here because uh, they, they're they not going to use Gen 4 Pokemon in the Johto area. Or in Kanto, rather. So, that, it's only, you know, Pokemon that uh, you encounter after the fact. So, yeah, keep that in mind. So, some evolutions, although they do exist in this, you know, game, they don't exist in Johto like they're from Johto. It's kind of weird how that works. How does, um... That's not going to be very effective at all, though. That's good. Yeah, nice. That's a one good thing about this gym here. All Ice-type moves, not that effective. And Psychic, not effective really at all. Uh, Surf, again, the just the sheer power of Surf might be good enough. Fake Tears is at, what, Special Defense? Ouch. Those Fake Tears. Oh, you saw the sadness you have. <laughs> all right. Ooh, okay. So still effective. Okay, that's a wake-up slap indeed. And not very effective either. So we may be in luck just from the resistance standpoint, not from it being a, a, an outwitting of the trainer's perspective. So that's good. But yeah, I'm going to switch the uh, EXP share from Padino back to Toledo. So I, I don't want to have Padino, as much as I love Padino here, I, I want to keep the team as balanced as I can here. So uh, let's take the item from there. Yep. I'm going to give the item to... You, sir, right here. Boom. There we go. Just in case, you know, because I, I still want to get uh, Egot up. And there you go. So, yeah, you do it that way. You could do it one of two ways there. So, uh, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to challenge all these trainers. Because why not? We get a, a sense for the variety of the Pokemon that are in here, too. These battles, for the most part, I'm going to share. Unless they're really incredibly easy. Uh, how about this one here? Uh, 25? No, it's not out of the question here. Now, if I had a Thunder-based move, that'd be killer, but no. And this is not going to be effective at all, but... And, um, Slow King can learn, like, Thunder Punch. That is a possibility. So, I may try, uh, Shadow Ball, actually. Just for the power aspect of it. Yeah, but, see? Oh, wow, that still does a lot, though. For a not very effective move. That's pretty dope. So, uh, I got nothing else for like new things going on. You know, it's been, it's been good playing this game. And after be being uh, sleep deprived for that time yesterday, I'm in a much better mood and mental spot today. So that's good. Sending out Dugong, Dugong. I always say that in my own head, at least when I see Dugong or Thail, Thail, Thail. Fail? 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 It's like seal. Get it? Yeah, it's a seal. Haha! -ha. Anyways, alright. Oh, you're gonna use Encore on me? And you Surf? That's fine. That's totally fine. The sheer power of Surf will destroy you at some point. I can kind of just... Oh, you're using Rest. Oh, alright. So that the, the gift and the curse of that is you fully heal yourself, but you're asleep. So if you have a berry that can wake you up, then yeah, you're fine. But if you don't, then yeah, you're at the mercy of being asleep. That is the ultimate combo, but you only use that berry once, and then it goes away after you leave the battle. So you really gotta plan out your moves specifically there. 
You don't want to uh, be at the mercy of how long sleep will be in effect for, at least in my opinion. Rest is a very uh, Snorlax move, in my opinion. I've always heard, uh, there you go, Aqua Ring there. Uh, I've always seen uh, Snorlax using that move because it's very good for Snorlax, a very tank-like Pokemon, very big boy, lots of health, so you gotta keep that in mind. He can out-survive a lot of enemies in that way. It's not a sail, fail, fail, fail. I think that's how the Pokemon is in uh, in the anime, I think. That's the, the voice it does, like, fail, fail, fail. So, it's not just me being annoying. I mean, par not partly, but, you know, it's fine. And uh, full health again. And I'm, I'm stuck in Encore. I don't know when that would end, if it does end. It might not, actually. Which I'm always, con like, it, it throws me off for a half second. Encore is the name of a casino that was built in the Boston area. I haven't been to... Oh, now it's stopped. Okay, cool. Um, I haven't been there, because why would I go there? But it's like, here you have this beautiful skyline of Boston that's so uh, historic, uh, but at the same time, very modern. You have the TD Bank North Garden. You got the Zakem Bridge. You got the John Hancock Tower. And then you got this massive gold and brown disgusting building chilling in the skyline here. It's nasty. But whatever. It's fine, I guess. Alright, so we gotta go down that way. Um, I think we gotta... Actually, it doesn't matter which way we go. We gotta face off against that trainer regardless. Right? I think so. Um, wait, no. Hold on. If we go this way... Oh, we can't go that way. Huh. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. We go this way. No. See, this is why they always throw me off. All these puzzles always throw me off. Every single time. So you have to brush up against this guy here. And then hit the one on the left and then go up. Yeah, I getcha. Okay. And now you go here and then there. Oh, that's the gym leader. Okay, cool. Nice. So I need the um, this to be restored for... Uh, for, for Egod here. The uh, Surf, again, I used up all of Surf because it's just such good, a, a good move to have here. Um, I have no other healing type items, which is fantastic. Not that we're going to lose because, hey, it's a water ice type gym. So, you know, it's fine. Or it's, it's ice, but a, a lot of ice type Pokemon are also water types as well, I feel like. So, you know. Same uh, weaknesses in a way, not really, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of things to say. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power! <laughs> Alright, Price. You'll pay the price, sir. Okay. There you go. The wind is blowing even though we're inside and indoors. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Alright. Half health to start already. Not great, but let's use Surf and hope for the best. That's not very effective, and okay, so at this point, ooh, I'm gonna get buffed by hail. That's not good. At least I'm not outdoors, and that's effective, you know? That's good. And okay, so it's a little bit, and he gets uh, buffed by hail too, so that's fine. Uh, let's try confusion, just to see how well that'll do. Um, does a moderate amount, okay. So, oh, you're gonna rest now, great. Awesome. I feel like we should switch out here, but I almost don't want to for the sake of just using a gut, even though he's going to get the EXP share anyways. So, not because of EXP share, but because he's out in battle. Like, I want to use... Sh I feel like I really should use Shadow Ball or something, but I feel like we can get through Seal here. What is Snore? Okay. I didn't realize that was a move. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But sure. Ooh, all right. Down to half health and almost entirely done for uh, a gut here. Ooh, and now he's confused and asleep. How does that work? Who knows? And I'm going to get buffed by hail again, but also we'll seal. Actually, that should just last me enough here. I'm going to go first. And then, oh, of course you're going to. Of course you're going to. Of course you're going to. And you're going to use it on seal. 
Luckily, it's not that big of a deal. Because, yeah. All right. Oh, that works out, actually. So, I'll use it again. Maybe he can be asleep for one more turn and I can get him out of here. No, of course not. Oh, he's confused. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Cool. Now I go. Now we're still good. Tremendous. Lovely. Great. Tremendous. <laughs> 300. Only 321 XP. Ouch. Okay. Pilo swine. That's fine. Get it. And I'm going to. Ooh, 34. Ouch. Okay, we're slacking now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not very effective. We're dead. Okay, cool. Uh, but now we can swap out to uh, Holy Toledo, Batman. And use Surf. No, we're going to use whatever water move we have. I forget. Uh, water Gun. Uh, okay, whatever. Sure. That's fine. Ooh, we're faster already. Cool. Nice. And okay, so it does about a third there. That's fine. All right, not too much damage there. That's good. Cool. And every single uh, gym leader slash elite four gets one uh, hyper potion slash full restore every match. So it's not like they can use infinite kind of like you can. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's not like you're going to be in a battle forever using items constantly because... You know, you can, but the uh, computer players cannot, so that's good. And how did my attack miss? It, I thought it would be incredibly effective, but okay, whatever. That's fine. And there you go. Make this... Really? It missed again? Boy. I might lose the battle if it keeps missing this way, dude. That's crazy. Or I might just use Flail at this point. I'm, get, I'm close. Uh, water gun, please don't miss. Wha how are you missing, dude? Really? That's... Uh, the accuracy falls. That's why I'm going to get buffed by hail and I'm going to lose. Ugh. All right. Sure. Cool. Great. Padino, last hope here. How did it uh, end up coming to this, you know? Uh, use Shadow Ball, because why not? Blizzard... That's a bit, oh, that's too much. That's a bit over the top. And that's super effective, too. That's one sh almost one shot there. And again, I have no healing moves. So I think it's just uh, a bunch of circumstances here that have led me to this. But Ice Fang, yeah, that's going to be bad. Okay, yep, there you go. And dead. Cool. I'll retry it again. Come on. Yep, you're going to do that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold, the, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay, you're going to get buffeted by hail. I say buffeted, but I meant bu buffed. Surf, you're done. You're done, done. Good. Oh, oh Pilo Swine, you think you're going to be a pain in the butt? You're not. <laughs> not today, buddy. And the other two are still kicking it. They're still totally fine. Didn't even need to use them yet. Hail continues to fall. And this is only my second time battling him, so that's fine. Dugong. Dugong. All right, Dugong, here we go. I need to find a Mary, man. I need, I need an electric type, man. Where is it? And yeah, that's not going to do much of anything. Nice. That's a yawn right there, okay? And now, really, Surf is not going to do anything, even though it's a powerful move. Even at level uh, 31, it's, it's just not going to work out. So hopefully Confusion will do a little uh, something, something here. We'll see. So, there's that. And Confusion takes effect now. You should be asleep by this turn here. Alright, that does a moderate amount. But the buffeting by hail. The buffed. The hail buff. It looks like buffeted. But it, it's supposed to be pronounced buffed. It was buffed by hail. But it looks like buffeted. Like a buffet. Like going to a... You're sleep talking? What? Uh... Uh, 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 what? Okay. Cool. Sure. Uh, I'm going to switch to Toledo. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. Okay. Uh, let's go with Padino. Let's just do it, you know? Let's just let's just see what's going on. How, how we're feeling today, all right? So, um, sleep talk again? Using aura be- Ah! Uh, 
How's this gonna go? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Panino was not great for this battle at all. Let's go fly. Let's fly. Yeah. I wanna fly. Can you take me far away? Give me a star to reach for. There we go. Nice. Cool. And, ooh, it's so close. It's, it's so close. It's so close. Oh. And... Against my own word, you use a full restore and a hyper potion. That's a load of words that I can't use on this family-friendly program. But wow, okay, sure, sure, buddy, you keep flying. That's gonna be a bad one. Wow, how is that even a thing? And it's a critical too. Not like it really mattered, but that's a load of garbage. That's what that is. Absolute horse duty. Horse duty. Uh, we'll go for the, the crunch. Crunch. Yeah, there we go. A little something something. That's uh, defense fall in there. Nice. Uh, how's that going to go? I don't know. And it's nothing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Let's, uh, let's go for the Ice Fang and see what it does, man. You never know, man. What do we got? Nothing. Great. Oh, that's really not effective. Okay. Oh, come on. You keep doing this. Most annoying Pokemon that do that, man. I'm just going to rest again and prolong my death. Great. Great. Awesome. And it's not like we can even use Flail, and it'll do a good amount of damage. And you're sleep-talking again. So it's like the Pokemon is made to be resting. Like its moveset relies on it being asleep, which is disgusting. It's just gross. That was almost a critical hit there. I mean, we're gonna win in this thing here anyways. If you, even if you use Aura Beam, it's fine. Ice Shard, whatever, I don't care. I'm a water type, all right? You, I, I never freeze. It's fine. And nothing, great. Crunch on him. Hit him with the crunch. Captain Crunch on him. Yum, 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 yum. He's dead. Gone. Gone. Not dead. Just gone. And 301 XP gain. Toledo gain 904. Shout out to level 33. Toledo now. And that's going to be this gym battle. All said and done. Leader price is leader wrong for the price because the price is wrong. Anyways, the Glacier Badge has been awarded to us and now I'm gonna get out of here oh it lets us uh, whirlpool 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 across areas here TMO 7 ice shard that's hail what a useless move I don't care so I'm gonna get out of here and uh, I'm going to end off this episode here because uh, more badges are gonna be acquired in the next episode and uh, more secrets and whatnot because Whirlpool is available. So we got to head down to that, uh, you know, watery area, the ocean down toward the south and see what else is uh, happening with us there. Lyra, what do you want? What do you want? Uh, you'll become an incredible. Oh, jeez. Why are you contacting me for no reason? Just text me. It's fine. It's 2019 and even 2009. Just text people. Don't call people. It's annoying. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Connects Kenny. I'll see you again next time for more uh, Pokemon Soul Silver Adventures. Peace out. Bye.